this we are going to see uh, how to insert a node as the last node in the double helix list let us consider this is the given list okay this consists of the three nodes now uh, the data to be inserted we pass it as an argument for this function insert and here we create a temporary pointer and this is of which is of type node now then we uh, create the node first here we have declared that node which is of type node and then we create the node by using the new operator so when you use this new operator this structure will be formed then now you enter the data assign the data in the data field of this temp node and then make the previous and next field to be null now this is ready to be inserted what we have to do is we have to do the pointer manipulation now we have to attach this as a last node so before doing that what we have to do is we have to check is whether this is the only one node to be inserted if it is going to be inserted as a last node uh, or uh, any 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 double link any node is there in the double link list or not that we can do by checking if head is equal to null so when the head is equal to null when there is no node so in that case what we have to do is this will be the first node if there is no node at all in the double link list then this will be the first node so what you have to do you have to modify you have to make this to point this to be a head node <coughs> so you have to make head also head and both head and tail so you have to make this to be a head and then tail this itself is the tail so what you have to do is you have to make this as a tail so tail is also um, this this node become tail also so both head and tail uh, pointers are made to point to this temporary node now this will be the first node in the row or else if i am going to if there is already node and we are going to in, insert it as a last node then what we have to do we already have a pointer called tail which always point to the last node so that taking that we can find out the last node in the existing double link list and then we have to add this as a last node after this so how you can do that by making the pointer manipulation since the last node always have the null Uh, in the its uh, next, so we leave this. But we are going to modify in the previous because before this, this will be that. So what you have to do is tail this tail address, which is nothing but one or two that you have to put it here. That is what we are doing. How you can access this temporary previous? That is what here we are doing. Temp previous in that you put this tail address. So once you do that, what will happen? here now i am going to write that address is yes. now after writing this uh, that is temp previous this is temp in this previous we write the tail memory location tail whatever tail is pointing uh, that node memory location we write it here so now it is pointing to the previous node because this is a previous node so it points now this has been made but in this thing we have to made it to point to this location so how we can do so the tail in tail next you have to write the temp so here tail next we have to write the temp so now we will do that so in that so what is the memory location of that it is nothing but 500 is the memory location of the temp so now we write that here now after this node this will be the node so as you know this will be the last node by indicating the this to be null now what you have to do now this will become the tail once you have inserted always tail points to the last node so now what you do is to remove this will become the tail node okay so here now say here it is correctly inserted so in the next location we are pointing to the newly created node and in the 
pre newly created previous node we are made to point to the uh, previous last node so now it is connected with this as a last node so now let us see how to insert uh, the given node as an in intermediate say for example if i want to insert it here or after this like that so anyway whenever you insert you have to verify whether this newly created node will be the only one node or that will be the first node or that will be the end of the node so how you have to do that let us see the algorithm first you are passing the data and then this is a algorithm that is insert middle the function into that we pass the data to be inserted and then the location in which location i want whether in the first location or the second location or in the third location so you are getting the location let us imagine we are going to um, insert a value which is 25 let us imagine we are going to insert let let us say we are going to insert in the position 3 okay so 1 2 after that in the third position we are going to insert so for location it will be 3 so let us say location equal to 3 and the data will be 25 so now what you do is here you are declaring a temporary variable called count we are going to keep a count after the first node is traversed the count will become one then count two so when both equal then we are going to insert that place so here we have to temporary pointer declare a stamp and current temporary uh, pointer which is of type node then we create a new node and we call it as a temp so this after creation this will be the temp node so now we will make the previous and the next uh, location to be null then uh, here location if location equal to 1 means that we want to insert it as a first node that is the meaning of this but here we are passing 3 but anyway if temporary if the location is equal to 1 what will happen that we will see so what you have to do this will become the first node in that case you have to make this previous node to point to this okay then the, this temporary node previous node will be null indicating that this will become the starting node so this will become the head node now so you have to may manipulate the pointer the head to point to this then you have to make the next location of this stem to point to this this is what we have to do but anyway you have to do modification first in the temporary node that is newly created node then only you have to do manipulation in the existing node so first what we have to do is in temp next what we have to do is we have to write this node address which is nothing but 100 so which is nothing but our head so in temp next you write the head so accordingly what we do here is to write this and then we have to write the memory location so now after doing this this becomes the first node that is uh, this is pointing to this still it is not made as a first node how it can be made when it is made as a head only it will become the first node so this because of this is going to be a first node we are not going to touch the previous location it will be null now this is pointing this but this is not uh, here previous node has to be modified after doing this the next one is whatever the head is pointing in the previous location it is made to point to this so how you can do that so we have to write this so before that i'll wrap this i'll remove this null now yes now it is written according to this head previous you write the temporary memory location now it has been done then now this head is no more this so now head is made to point here so now head is made to point up now head is here and after that you go to 100 to get the next location then from 100 101 From one not one to the one not two. If you want to go previous one not one not two, one not one go here. Then from one not one it is hundred go there. From hundred it is five hundred. 
so now this date this node has been inserted as a first node but now uh, what we are going to do is this is not going to be the first node in that case what we are going to do so that is what we are going to see now uh, let me remove this okay let me put the null and here also i'll do this let us go back to the previous condition okay now this is the condition so a new node is created previous and next node will be the null this is the new node now we are going to insert it as a third node so according to that we have got that as a location equal to 3 so now we have to reach 3 because uh, list linked list whether it is singular linked list or a linear uh, doubly linked list you have to move from one node to another node till you get a place where you want to insert or update whatever it is so you have to move from one node to another node you cannot reach that node immediately so that is the thing so now what we do is so this will not be true so here it goes to the else condition where location equal to location minus 1 so now accordingly our location becomes 2 okay so why it is 2 uh, because when it reaches 2 it has to come out so that you can insert so for that only we first uh, decrement because if it is 3 the pointer will move there and you have to go back instead when it reaches the position that is it has to insert 3 but when it reaches 2 itself it has to come out so that we can insert 3 for that only we do a subtraction then current equal to had we assign one more pointer already we have declared c u r to be of type no so that first we have made that to point to the head so using this current pointer only we are going to move to the next next location not using the head if you use the head you will lose the node so we are using a temporary pointer called c u r current then first current is made to point to head then count is also made to one because we have visited one node one node so we made count equal to one then till the current reaches the end of the list that is current is not equal to current is not equal to null what you have to do you have to move next next step and current is not equal to location till it reaches the location where we want to insert till that you traverse so what you are doing is first current current is uh, not equal to null and current location is not equal to 2 current if count is 1 it is not equal to 2 so what you do according to this inside the uh, curly braces while loop what you do current equal to current so we move this pointer to point to the next location so now what is this here now current is pointing this according to this current equal to current next means it is 1 1 then count plus plus 1 count plus plus which is nothing but now count becomes 2 now again it go inside current is not equal to null but location is equal current count is equal to location till count is not equal to location only it will go inside so when both are true only this will be executed but now count is big to 2 so now cur current is pointing this and count is equal to 2 so now it comes break the while loop and it, it comes here if current is not equal to null which means uh, this current this node is not the uh, last node suppose if you move here the it may become the last node okay so what happens that is uh, it, this is going to be the last node if you have in the say for example you are going to insert it as a last node then you will be inserting give, giving the value 4 and you will become 3 and then when you check here then it will become equal to null so in that case if the current node is not the last node then uh, now it is not the null last it is not the last node so what you are going to do is you go through go inside so temp previous this is now we are going to manipulate in our temporary node so how you have to manipulate previous node is made to point this next node is made to point this then you have to make both the uh, next location of this and previous location of this to point to this so this is what we are going to do so how you will be doing temp previous equal to this so which is nothing but current current is now pointing this so what you do is you remove this in this location you modify oh yeah now now 
previous node is made to point to this. Okay. Now 101 is this node address. So it has been modified. Now we will we have to modify here. Temporary next. So how you will find out in temporary next you have to write. Because current node is here. We don't know this. It may be more than many nodes also may be that. So you cannot take the tail also. Imagine you have four nodes, five nodes. So you cannot take tail. You have to know the next. How you will find out? So current node next will be the next node of this. So that you have to find out. See current next. In that you put the temp. In temp next you put the current node next. So here. So we put that one or two here. So now what happens? In the temp previous you write the current node. And then in temp next, you write the current node, next node, which is nothing but this. Now, in temporary node, uh, it, it is made to point to this previous and next. But now we have to do modification in the current node X and tail uh, this node next so that they both of them can point this. So in this, before doing though, we have to check whether it is the last node or not. Because sometimes it may be a last node. We might have reached this. So in that case, this will be inserted as the last node. So that we are doing it here. So current next, if it is not equal to null, then again we are safe that we are inserting it in the middle. So current next equal to, what is current next? This is current. In the next, we put the temp value. So here, see here, in current, this is. Then next is this. Next is this. In this previous, okay, current Next is this, which is nothing but this. In this, its previous is this. So you have to modify that. So you make it as a this node, temporary node. So now it is pointing this. Previous node is this. Then here, current node next, you write down that temp, which is nothing but this 500. So here that is what we are doing. In current next, we write a temporary node. So now this data has been inserted in between. So if it is not matching, suppose uh, you are not able to insert, then you give the, uh, in all these cases it fails, then you give index out of bound. 